<clears throat> Anyways. Now, when it comes to live music, it's a completely different story. Um, most of my focus on music is for the music for later periods of life. Um, you know, I'm a DJ, music producer, um, you know, live performance artist. Um, and in the state of Illinois, in Chicago, um, the way the music establishment is, is um, there's a lot of public, private, and underground venues for people 17 to 21, because obviously during this age they don't drink. And it's really during this age most people are, you know, basically like, I wouldn't say running away, but, <clears throat> you know, slowly testing their freedoms. And, you know, this is a very healthy and natural human thing. Um, <clears throat> but as promoters who cater to this type of crowd, um, you know, business zoning and, um, you know, basically liquor license type of issues are, you know, a little bit more problematic. Um, most of these events are held in like public theaters. Um, and then the music, which caters to 21 to, let's say, 25. Um, it's definitely a lot harder to make an impression on somebody after they turn 21. Um, when it comes to, you know, having like a very, very loyal following in your art, your music, and what you do. Um, basically the 21 to 25 crowd, you know, they can travel, they're adults, they can drink. They'll basically go from club to club. I mean, they'll start, you know, basically developing per personal and, you know, um, obviously sexual relationships with whoever the fuck is playing. Um, and you kind of have to, tr like, tread this type of thing kind of lightly. Um, basically you have, like, groups of people who are following you. Um, I believe really the key to long-term success in the music business is to, <clears throat> is to basically have a pipeline. Um, like, imagine a Colombian drug lord who never sets foot in America but is able to move hundreds of metric tons of cocaine within the continental United States border. I kind of view promotions as a similar feat um, because to frame this idea under these circumstances implies a very very precise and deliberate skill and intention basically in order to create a pipeline of music you have to find the tastemakers and the people who are basically able to influence their respective social groups within the 17 to 21 market and then basically without you directly manipulating or messing with that market have that osmosis into the 21 and up club basically if you do it this way you'll have a gazillion fans everybody will follow you and <clears throat> this tactic would really only work on one large American metropolitan area.